And uh, looking at uh, the, the uh, big four, the, the four-pillar agenda, yeah. on paper <coughs> it is a very good plan. Mm -hmm. But looking at the bits and pieces that we have of the budget right now, do you feel like areas that are supposed to be given priority have been given, those being one, manufacturing, and secondly, something like agriculture? We've just seen um, Willy Lusige in Kakamega, a, a town that uh, traditionally would expect a lot of production to be done, a lot of agriculture to be done, yet they're the ones who are paying dearly by not being able to even afford food on the table. Yeah, uh, before I get to the issue of food security, remember this budget uh, is going to give us a situation where the debt is at 62% of the GDP. Some people may argue that even in America it is worse than that. But you see America as a productive economy, that every sector of the economy is producing something towards uh, revenue collection. Uh, number two, the debt has been growing at the rate of 16% for the last couple of years, while the per capita income has only been growing <coughs> at the rate of 9%, which means there is a gap of 6% that, is, uh, is being, that needs to be breached, and that gap is not being breached technically. Now, when it comes to issues of food security, what has happened for the last three years has been depletion of investment in agriculture and the wrong options. As, as we said last week, many farmers have their maize in their stores. Uh -huh. Many sectors that we had economic stimulus in the past have been ignored. Now, agriculture is not just the question of production, it's the question of the full chain in terms of value chain from production to the table. And some of the linkages have been destroyed because of knee-jerk reaction by the government. Uh -huh. I can say without uh, fear of contradiction that at the end of this year, the government again will be preparing to import because there is a problem of armyworms, there is a problem of wastage in the stores, and there is a problem of non-payment to farmers. Up to now, mm -hmm. farmers are still owed three billion shillings. Mm -hmm. So when you talk of agriculture or food security as one of the pillars, and yet you are frustrating the same source that is producing that food, we are not dealing with the right issues. Now, the issue of health care that the president announced himself on, you are already taxing some of the medicine. And this effectively means you are denying people access. Access to there are, health. There are many families that they can raise even 100 shillings per day per parcel. Mm. And this therefore means somebody will say, let me just stay on, I may heal, so that I have some money to take my child to school. Mm. So the priorities are wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is where we feel the president is being frustrated by the very government he leads. Now, when you break down the way I was telling you earlier, 50% will go to paying debt, 50% will go for recurrent expenditure, and the remaining, which is a quarter, will now go to, towards meeting development <coughs> agenda, mm -hmm. which is the agenda the president has announced himself on. Okay. Now, when you talk of industrialization, mm -hmm. allow me to say that. Right. You cannot go full industrialization unless you start with agro-based uh, businesses that we have as a nation. 